what's up everyone, Duquesne23 here, and today we're going to be checking out the map Terminus by Foxy Papa Smurf and Video Game Pete. Now, this map, of course, as you can tell, is a remake of Halo 2's Terminal, uh, but there's some changes in here, and so this is a very large map, so it's going to take a little while to walk through. I hope y'all will enjoy joining me on this adventure of checking out this incredible map. I will leave though a link to a video made by Foxy Papa Smurf and he goes over all the details and everything about his creation of this map. I mean it is a very well produced and extremely good video. Highly suggest checking it out so I will be uh, linking that in the uh, description down below as well of course to bookmark this map you can uh, find the link in the description as well. But let's go ahead and jump into this now as you can clearly tell. This is Terminal. There are some changes in this with Terminal. And yes, right there, you saw the train go by. I'm, I've am i already kind of ran to be able to get to this area to, at the starting of the, of the video. I, <laughs> I ran, sorry. I ran over to here and I had to cross the track, uh, you know, a few times. And uh, yeah, it, it worried me every single time. I got stressed jumping over the track, hoping I wouldn't get hit and stuff like that. So <laughs> um, it definitely brings that feeling of what Terminal is about, you know, the tracks and everything like that. And as you can tell, there's the train going and it actually follows the curve of the track like the original Terminal. Uh, the, you know, the one that he made in Halo 5 was a little bit different. Uh, it basically, you know, just was straight because in Halo 5, the scripting wasn't quite as good. So, of course, you know, like you couldn't have the train actually turning along and then going and then going up right there. Uh, you know, and stuff. And the train actually does kill you if you get hit by it. Uh, but yeah, it, it's so far, it's fantastic. I love the little details, like putting these decals here on the end and stuff and around. Uh, the uh, screens and stuff like that all around here. Let's go ahead and go up to the second story and Look at this. You have some beautiful artwork there and everything uh, That's up there billboards like all this type of stuff is what I'm talking about. It just adds to the uh, Like the feeling of you being on a actual map that's in an actual place and not just something that's you know uh, Just oh, this is just a forge map and stuff like that so it's just awesome i love all this type of stuff that everything here uh let's go ahead and move on over here actually mm, what should we do I, let's go ahead and drop down make sure the train's not coming what if what if we jump on the tracks here uh the train i believe comes from this way okay good uh there's that right there let's try to try to make our way all the way over here and hopefully don't get hit by the train we should see it coming and maybe you all have the reaction time to jump off if I see it coming in time, but I'm really worried that I won't. Okay, let's go ahead and jump over right here. So this is something that's completely different uh, than what the original Halo 2 terminal was. Uh, Foxy Papa Smurf did add a few extra sections that made a lot of sense to add it, you know, and that didn't make any sense in the original terminal. Like you walk through here, I love to just look at this like, you know, like background like I don't know little ventilation shaft type of thing there uh, you have this little you know this little station right here that you can go into uh, provide a little bit of cover from some vehicles if you want to has it of course a bunch of different weapons there's a hydra right there uh, and then you come out over here and come over into the parking garage we'll go ahead and wait to go to the parking garage here in a second but let's go check out this yellow base over here i like how he has all this stuff color co coordinated just because that's better so you can call it out like of course you can say parking garage but it's also it's the red building you know and this is the yellow building and stuff like that the lockers look fantastic i love the lifts of the car like how it was originally uh, it's really cool we got the warthog and ghost right here we got a br and commando over here uh, so everything is just looking great some of the stuff that he did add into here like look at this right here like it's just a nice little touch of adding something here so you can get around uh, the area and get to this, you know, middle area right here. Well, almost the middle area. Uh, just so you're not having to walk through this little pathway right here, completely open and exposed to any type of vehicles and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and jump back right here. I love this little thing here. 
Uh, I don't know. I don't think you can make that right there. At least I can't because I'm terrible. Uh, but let's go ahead and go up here and come check out this area over here because this is a new area. Oh, I like this right here. Like, look at this. It's like you can you can shoot at some people that are down over there, you know, that are over there or toss grenades in and stuff. So I guess if people are, you know, camping out over here in this corner, you can always throw up nades up through there or you can throw down nades over here. Uh, here's another connection to this point over here. So it's just another way to get up onto uh, this spot. So you don't have to just, you know, go through these doors in the bottom like how it was originally. Uh, you actually have multiple different ways now to be able to get into this room in this building. All right. And so over here, originally, this just kind of stopped right here. And there wasn't this room wasn't even here. And again, like I said, Foxy Pop Smurf does talk about this in his video and everything but basically there was a door right here in the original uh but it just like the door was closed and it, then there's the pathway over on the other side that just dead ended on a wall and it's like it seemed like this wanted to be a room like the you know bungie wanted this to be a room but then they decided not to so he went ahead and made it a room which makes a lot of sense this way you can move around on these catwalks and come through here he made a little section where you could jump down you know over there and this is just overall a great inclusion of this area so let's go ahead and just hop down of course let's look at this terrain piece right here the terrain is looking fantastic now it is not very easy to make extremely smooth terrain i i would say that's something i'm pretty good at is doing terrain and foxy pop smurf is definitely also really good at making smooth terrain here you don't want to have any jarring bumps or anything like that whenever you're driving a warthog because it's you know that's not unless it's intentional but that's not how the terrain was originally it was nice smooth terrain so he definitely uh created that here and did a really good job so let's go ahead and jump into the awesome looking uh parking garage right here like the parking garage looks fantastic now, Fox Pop Smurf, oh, oh, there's a bulldog right there. Uh, Fox Pop Smurf, uh, him and Video Games Pete, Video Games Pete was the one that worked on all the scripting. Like, he made the train work and actually turn right here at this, like, turn spot and then go upwards at the end over there. Uh, Video Game Pete is the one that did that. And, you know, of course, he's extremely smart with the scripting and everything. And they actually made this to where if you walk towards it, it opens up like how it does originally. Now, unfortunately, with the train itself and this, they I think they reached the maximum amount of like nodes that you can put into scripting. And so he they weren't able to do it uh, having both of them. So hopefully that limit will get, you know, increased later on because they had this working to where it does open and close as a person or vehicle or someone drives up uh, like how it did originally and that would be awesome but right now they just have it open like that would be so cool if they get that so but just hopefully one day uh you know the forge team uh they can increase the uh, limit you know of nodes so that way they can be able to put this into the map and actually add that to it so but overall it's awesome i love this little like building right here it's, it's just small stuff like that like details and everything let's go keep checking out the downstairs of this like this is something that I, I'm really happy that also all of y'all are really enjoying these like walkthroughs. Uh, here's, here's another uh, weapon there. So, so y'all can get an idea of where some of the weapons are on here. Um, and you know, just the grenades. I'm, I'm happy y'all are enjoying these walkthroughs. This one of course will be a much longer walkthrough because this is a large map. Um, he did scale it, you know, for infinite and everything like that. Uh, but yeah, this is, as you can tell, a very large map. Ooh, we got some new cubes there. Um, it, but yeah, look at all this. This is fantastic. I love the details in the, in the background. Of course, you can't jump over this. There's an invisible wall here. But just the details of just stuff beyond the map is fantastic. Um, and we will look at the skybox here in a second over just the course of everything because if you look at the city and stuff around the you know for the skybox it is awesome I like I love the, the city that he has made on here so uh, looking at this what do we have over here we got a bandit over here um, and it's looking pretty good we have everything there I just this map is just fantastic I love walking around on this map and just checking out all the things on this map uh, there's some different things here we go we got this I believe 
if those are are those breakable from there i have no idea but you know that's an interesting we'll have to i guess see this goes out to the middle section right here uh and goes on to there and then of course down here this actually gets down to the bottom floor of the parking garage right here uh so that way you can easily make it let's break that get rid of that uh but yeah we can basically you know so we have multiple routes to be able to get up to the uh second floor it's not just this little ramp right here and then you come around over here and let's go check on this side i love the lighting and stuff like it gets dark but he has lights here that's really fantastic uh right here and so it looks like this is another spot uh that has a real big jump up right here so you do have a spot here i don't think you can make that maybe you could grenade jump that up there i don't know i'm not that good so i'm not gonna say anything okay and we got a lift right here uh, coming through the air ducts uh, we got a lift coming through the air ducts right there. Can we punch that open? Oh, man, there's air ducts behind it. I want to get in there. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, so it's so far right here. This looks like it's going up to this area near um, uh, where the parking garage is. Now, he made it to where you can't walk along this uh, just because he found it was a little bit too OP uh, to be able to walk along that entire thing there. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's basically you just have to come over here so this is where you can break through and come through where i was talking about right there so you can drop down and keep fighting there uh with that type of stuff but let's go ahead and just keep walking over here and this comes out into uh this lawyer i don't know what this is called like part of the train station you know and stuff right here uh there's the like main train station this is all the the nice area the it, it looks real nice i love the little you know cascading water on the rocks right there vending machines all around we got you know stuff to be able to get your tickets and everything like that it looks fantastic so let's go ahead and drop down over here and let's see the underside of all this underside of the train station look at all these pipes like see stuff like this is fantastic it just adds oh and it's got some steam you know spitting out from it oh and look at the fx right there of the steam on this this is really nice right here i like this a lot uh, it's a good little point we got needler here which that's awesome uh you know nice variety of different types of weapons here and not just you know all just you know unsc type of weapons or anything like that so uh very good here so it looks like you know yeah naturally the vehicles can only go through that left side over there they can't make it over here although you might i wonder if you can actually jump you know you might be able to you might be able to hit a grenade or something like that uh, and if you work with your teammates to be able to get your vehicle to drive up through here I know there's no point in doing that, but you know, it's always fun getting your vehicle into a place Oh, you could always drive up through here. It's always fun to get your vehicle into a place where it's not supposed to go uh, <laughs> You know, it's always a lot of fun uh, to be able to do that. So let's go ahead and climb up here I love the subway tiles uh, that they decided to put on these walls like that's one thing that people need to remember whenever they're making uh, a map change up the wall types you know don't just all have it the smooth walls or anything like that have certain rooms where there's like this it has the subway tiles i think these are normally metal right here you know like a defaultly and but he changed them to the same type of tiling they're in the same colors which it honestly it looks great like it's fantastic oh look at this little planter box here that see that looks awesome i love that it adds a little bit of vegetation there we're out here onto the road and it goes down here one thing i wanted to look at sniper rifle right there one thing i wanted to look at see was this little place you can't get over here either but just look at that it's just a fantastic extra bit of you know detail around the outside of the map on there so let's go ahead and check out the second half of this map over here so now we are up onto the road here and we'll drive around with the vehicle here in a second um, also but first I want to walk through everything and take a look at the details uh, you know just by walking around looking and like look at this like see you, you know you got your forklifts over there a whole bunch of trash and everything uh, and just stuff moving around you got the buildings it just it looks so good and again changing the types of the walls you know you're not having the same type of wall so it, you know the entire time so it actually oh my bad did, did my spartan run into it my bad i'm a fat spartan don't worry about it uh but look at this we got a stalls what is this like a little farmer's market or something like that you got stalls here where you can sell some things um oh man we got a grill that's a fancy grill right there 
uh <laughs> and then you got everything over here so far this is great like this is an added area normally this came back over here and just went to nothing and so it just kind of was like i don't know a place to like you couldn't really turn around with a vehicle couldn't do anything like that but right here provides a little spot you could drive your vehicle up right here and turn around over here he also has a spot coming down here and around uh, to go underneath the track so your vehicle can have a continuous motion like you could drive through that area right here come right here and then drive up and turn around just a nice continuous motion uh so you don't have to actually stop and just turn around your vehicle uh, let's go ahead and continue uh going over this way uh into here and this is a nice little control room it seems like uh we got glass on one side or actually it looks like glass on all sides so you're not going to be able to shoot through those things uh, but this is a just a good I guess it's probably a good spawn point and stuff like that uh, On here, but you can come across come across right here. Oh my gosh. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous I'm so nervous go across quick <laughs> I'm so nervous. I oh man This is bringing back memories of the original terminal where you're just like should I go should I go should I go? <laughs> the whole time um, But yeah, this entire area up here was added uh, and again, look at the difference in the walls. It really changes the style and the mood of this section of the map and like even the floors and like look at the floors like having the outline of this wood in here. It's not just all the wood or not just all the metal adds a little bit of detail adds a nice little outline there uh, and just provides a little accent piece uh, to everything. So pretty much this is just a fully added area right here. Um, and so it, this is just providing a spot uh, to, I think this is where some certain things spawn like for the, uh, the maybe the captured flags or something I don't know what spawns up here. He says it in his video, but I think it's to make things a little bit more uh, Even uh, in everything whenever you're actually playing those uh, Symmetrical like type of game types so like the you know two flags and stuff like that But look at this we got a deep or no dishwasher here uh, that looks that looks really good uh, on there We got you know, you can order your food here we got the heating lamps, <laughs> the heating lamps right here. That is amazing. Uh, with the wires going up, that is just that is just incredible right there with the wires going up there. And what is this right here? We got food. Oh my gosh, the food with the heating. Oh, th this is so great. And look, we got some stuff cooking here. Uh, some burners and everything. That That's great. Refrigerators. This is awesome. And some tables. I love how the chairs are on upside down like that. That is awesome, too. We got surfboards here. That looks awesome. That, that looks really good there. Oh, man, look at this. And then we have the menus and stuff up here. We got the bookshelves. Yeah, there's just so much detail. So much detail with this uh, throughout the map. And look. Oh, my gosh. Here's a crack. Okay, what's, what's back there? What's back there? There's nothing back there. But there's a crack right there. <laughs> uh, we got a pool table. Oh my gosh, we got a pool table. This is fantastic. <laughs> oh, that is great. That is great. You get actually have a pool table right there. Uh, that would be awesome if that actually moved, uh, which of course, I don't think those are actually the you know balls or anything like that, but that's pretty good. I, I really enjoy that. Like just a fun little extra aspect to the map itself. Uh, and then we're coming down here. Let's see what's down here. Okay, we got the repulsor right here. Oh man, that's a spooky area back there. That's a horror map right there. Uh, <laughs> and then we go through here. We got all this. Yeah, this is all looking so good. Here's where a warthog spawns for the other team and the ghost spawns for the other team. That's a hotel right there. Let's look out on this side. Oh, oh, nice. We got some elites and down deletes and everything over there. We got a broken warthog with the tire off. Looking good. Got this weird rock thing that's in the center of this <laughs> uh, but overall just I love that look uh, there's yeah there's the hotel and it, we got everything here and then this goes up into the one spot that I was at earlier right there and this goes into this spot if you of course if you you you, you know terminal this is all basic you know information here but just in case people don't uh, no terminal. Well, here you go. Except that there are some added areas. Now look at this right here. We got this bent, broken. I don't think you can be able to make that jump right there. Um, that would that would actually be really interesting if you could uh, make that jump. But yeah, there we go. I think that's pretty good here. I think we have everything. Uh, we have the upper. 
Um, type of, oh, I can't make it. I'm, I'm terrible. Um, we have this upper ramp right here. So we're going to go ahead and take the Warthog off of this upper ramp. Let's drive around in a vehicle real quick uh, just to kind of show uh, absolutely everything. There's Commando right there. Um, and it just trying to show what we have here on everything. Let's go ahead and hop in the vehicle. Uh, let's see. Wasn't there actually an entrance? There was. Okay, so here was another spot right here that went up into that hotel there. A disruptor right there. Nice, that'll be useful. Uh, but yeah, pretty much look at that. So let's go ahead and go up here and let's jump over. Got to jump over this area and hope hope we don't get hit by the trains. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've always was intrigued in terminal, like this little trash, like dump muddy area and stuff over here. I love that they recreated this here. Like it's fantastic that he recreated this, but oh, oh, one thing I completely forgot to do. Let's go ahead. Let's look at some of the skybox elements real quick. Cause we have the space elevator right there going all the way up and boy, does that go way up there. And we got, what is that? A Covenant Cruiser or something there? I I don't know technically names. Don't don't ask about my Halo lore <laughs> thing. Um, but here we got a, you know, a bunch of the skyscrapers all around the buildings. Just everything looks so good. I love how everything looks. This looks fantastic here. Uh, and you can't see any of the surrounding. I believe this is on the Institute canvas or whatever it's called. Um, where there's mountains all around, but of course you can't see that because they put buildings blocking everything. And I love the look, you know, you could see the uh, the space elevator over there. The space elevator is a great addition uh, on here. So pretty much you have your road up here. And so this is what I was talking about off of like something that you could turn around. Like, you know, you could come in here and not fail like that. And then you can actually just like turn around and stuff right here. So. It just provides like another area to be able to do this. Can I not break that? Do I just go through it? Amazing. I have a super special warthog. Uh, but here, let's go ahead and make some laps here so y'all can see what it feels like to drive a vehicle around in this area. Uh, and let's see, going off of these bumps here. Yeah, yeah, this is great. This is smooth. And yeah, you can't make that jump right there, but that's fine. Uh, if, you, if you time it with some of your uh, teammates, uh, then you would be able to. Uh, but here we go. Go ahead and come around over here. Looking good. You can, of course, go up into here with a Warthog. Um, you can just annihilate people with the chain gun as long as your chain gunner is good and, of course, your driver is good. One key thing I will give a tip to anyone who's driving a Warthog. Do not stop. Oh, my gosh. That was close. There's the vehicle. Do not ever stop. Like, if you want to be crazy and go inside an area that you're not supposed to be going in, that's fine. Um, but do not stop. Like, never do this. Like, let's say there's a person right up there. Do not, like, pull up as a driver and just stop right here and just let your gunner shoot. That is, that's making y'all a sitting duck. If your gunner can't kill him on a pass, then you want to keep moving and keep circling around. Like, if you keep circling around like this, it makes it a much harder to be able to hit you with grenades and stuff like that. And your, you know, your gunner can keep on making a pass and keep on attempting to shoot them. Never stop as a driver. That is a key. That's something I'm going to tell everyone that, you know, is driving and stuff. Do not stop as a driver. If you slow down, that's one thing. And, you know, of course, whenever you have to turn, you got to slow down a little bit uh, to be able to make it through. Oh, you can push those. Nice. Um, but you know, do not fully stop as a driver. You need to keep moving so that way grenades and stuff like that cannot mess with you. Uh, that man, I feel like Tokyo Drift right here. Oh yeah, we're making it. Oh, there we go. That's that's totally Tokyo Drift. <laughs> oh, there we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This map is fantastic. Uh, like seriously, this is such a good map. I cannot wait uh, for, you know, I'm, I'm hoping, like I'm saying I cannot wait for this to get into BTB, so I'm, I, I'm expecting it to, uh, just because, oh my gosh, I wanted to get hit. I wanted to get hit, you know, so y'all could see the destruction. Oh, oh no. Okay, is it gonna get hit on the other side? Come on, come on train. Come on the other side. Watch, it's not gonna come on this side. It's gonna go on the other side <laughs> this time. Uh, but yeah, so basically though, like, you know, um, it, it, 
it's like I'm expecting something. Oh my gosh, it went on that side again. Okay, okay, careful, careful, careful. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Watch, now it's gonna come on that side. Um, but yeah, I'm expecting this one to make it into BTB just because of the fact that how incredible this map is. Um, and here, let's go and back up so if we see it coming, we can back up. Oh my gosh, it scared me. <laughs> uh, there it hit. I just wanted to be able to get hit by it so to show y'all uh, that it will destroy you. So this was an extremely long walkthrough of this map. This is such a good map. I highly suggest anyone who wants to be able to play with uh, some friends, you can hop into the custom browser and you know start start host a lobby and hopefully some people will join in if you want to play it with some people. I know there's discords out there. Uh, you know, like Mint Blitz's Discord that's huge and that, you know, has a lot of play stuff. I know that there's like the, you know, like some other, um, what is it called? Halo Fun Time, I think, or something like that. That it has a Discord that they play a lot of games and everything. So if you don't know, if you don't know, like, where to find people to play, I'd suggest, like, trying to look around on the internet, trying to find stuff uh, in Discords and everything to be able to play with people. So... Uh, thanks again for coming out and watching this. This was an extremely long video. Um, sorry that this one is much longer. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I will have gameplay going on on this video right after this. Uh, so y'all can actually see a little bit of gameplay on it, uh, you know, that I'm playing. So um, it's not very good gameplay, but hey, it's gameplay, <laughs> let alone of that. Uh, so if you want to see more of these type of maps all the time um, and just these type of videos, normally they're not this long. This is just a very large BTB map. So that's the reason why this is real long. Uh, just be sure to subscribe right here. And I will be doing more of these daily. I'm going to try to do them daily since I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm having a whole lot of fun doing this. I really enjoy this new way I'm doing it. Uh, so I'm having fun. And I hope you all enjoy it too. And I will see you on the next one. And remember, let's forge a new Halo.
kill. 